Okay. <laughs> you once again <laughs> insulted our viewers. <laughs> this well, is like the fifth time we've well, done this. <laughs> they should stop doing things that I can insult them for. <laughs> okay, well, okay. We like, uh, we're getting off topic here. Um, tight, tight VNC is a VNC, which literally you can, over a network, this is for tight VNC, team viewer, you can do it over the internet. But, and for other ones, you can, it's either internet or network based. And what you can do is connect from one computer using usually a server. There's one person who has the server and it gives you a pass ID and code. And then the second one, you connect to the server, which is just a little box. It's actually the part of the program. There's a, a viewer and a, a server. And with, that's with type VNC. And it, you type in the password and you connect to one computer to the other. And you can literally move the mouse. You can open folders, look at documents, whatever, from one computer to another. It's, it's really useful if you're going away somewhere, like if you're going on a business trip and you want to access your desktop, you can open up TeamViewer on your desktop, leave, you just write down the code and the password, leave to you know China or whatever, and then retype it in and uh, you can control your desktop. I love how you just explained that because I didn't even understand what you just said. <laughs> well, I'm just amazing. Okay, so, remote desktop. <laughs> oh, good job, good job. So, um, so remote desktop. Let's <laughs> let's just talk about the remote desktop. What he just said was Team Viewer. Team Viewer remote desktop are the same thing except Team Viewer is over the internet. So what he just said was you can see another computer through. It's basically just through like the, hooking your the, computer up to another through monitor it, through, through the internet. internet. Yeah, pretty much like you can have one computer which is your server, and you connect it from another computer. You're still viewer. using your you're still using the operating system. So if you have let's say you have Windows XP, Windows Seven. You're still using Windows 7, but you're using a program to access your other computer. So you're not so you're not logging in as someone else. You're not logging in as you through the computer that's somewhere else. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm lost now. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. So to put it remote desktop. To put it in basic terms for layman's terms. Us 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 simpletons here. Um one computer, the server you have a password, and you have the the code that you the whatever it is the um, the username almost, and um, you connect it to from the viewer server viewer. You view on you view, you view the server from the viewer. I, I Tom, Tom, you view the other computer. Let's just say that you could you view the other computer. You control the other computer. But you also have to know the, like Thomas says, you have to know the username and password of the other computer in order it, to log it, on, on through the network. On Type VNC, it um it says the username or the number ID and it says the password right on there. With Type VNC, uh, it says the a number which will be down at the bottom of the screen. It's going to be a little icon that's on your taskbar. It pops up. It'll give you the number. That's what you connect to, and then you can create passwords. But like I said before, Type VNC is network-based only, which means only on computers that are around you on the same network. And which is why I like TeamViewer much better because Team I can just is work over through the internet. internet. The downside about TeamViewer is that TeamViewer does, well, obviously, since it, it uses the internet, it has more of a delay. I'm it gonna have does to say have that. a delay. It, if you have a, it takes up a lot of internet. And it, it has a lot of bandwidth. It has a huge amount of delay from one computer to another if you have slow internet. So, and it does use use up huge amounts of internet. So. Don't do it if you're trying to play Modern Warfare. You're going to sit here in red bar yeah. and glitching up. Trust me, we've tried it. It doesn't work. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, don't, don't even yeah, try that. Uh, um, so pretty much that's all you need to know about that. Remote desktoping. That is a different story. That is pretty much, actually, it's pretty much the same thing, except this one's given to you by Windows. Woo. <laughs> Just pretty much a crappier version of the same thing. So um, you connect. <laughs> You can <laughs> it, 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 it is. That is what Windows is. So it, you connect it. It's the same thing. You have like a, an ID, and you connect it from one computer to another, usually from internet-based or network, and it's remote desktoping. It comes with, I believe, you can use it with all, except for DOS, like 3.1 and up, I believe it comes with remote viewer, um, remote desktoping. And but. you can get remote desktop for free. Or you can get the paid version, which I just get it for free because the paid version is bullcrap. Yeah. Yeah. No. Sure. Uh, yeah. Just same. It's same thing as uh, if you were getting LimeWire. There's LimeWire free, and then there's LimeWire Pro. Why get the LimeWire Pro? Get the LimeWire free. Sure. Well, why go for Pro when you have to pay for it when you can just get the free? Because Pro is clearly better. 
Oh, it says pro, which means you're amazing at something. Like me. That's the word to describe me, pro. <laughs> you, on the other hand, <laughs> you're the basic download. <laughs> you have no speed at all. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, basic download. Basic download. Cool. That's you. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, you so are. that is uh, well, uh. basically when you go on to the remote desktop, because we're getting very distracted today. Yeah. Go indeed. on to the remote desktop. Uh, if you're a Windows 7 or Vista user, just type in remote desktop in yeah. the search bar, in the search, search menu. And it'll come up with a thing, remote desktop. If you have another computer in your house, it has to be on your network. Indeed, indeed. Um, and you could just type in the IP address of that computer. And then you connect to it, and it does pretty much the same thing. You can control the mouse movements, look at documents. And if one, you do, one of the big downsides to this is if you restart your computer, it closes the program that mm -hmm. you yeah. remote desktoping or VNCing, and uh, even on tight VNC or um, Team Viewer, if you hit Act Control Delete, usually that ends the program. Team Viewer, it does not. It does not sever it, but with uh, tight VNC, it does. Yeah. But Anything, if you restart your computer, it completely logs off and you can't view it. The anymore. thing, if you don't know, like you don't have, you can enter in the computer's name, but if you enter in the computer's name, it gets kind of difficult from there. Um, you have to enter in the computer's name, not just uh, if it's like Alan's computer. You can't just enter in the name of the computer. You have to enter in the original names. That's why it's better just to go through the IP address and password. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. If you're running like an older version of Windows, it will tell you the. Oh, yeah, compatibility issue. Um, you want to talk about compatibility issues between? I, d I wasn't going there. I was going there. If the older version of Windows tell you, tells you your original computer's name, it does not say the. Yeah. Uh, s okay. Usually it's better if you are. Um, team Viewer really doesn't matter, but for things like. Um, Remote desktoping, it's better if you're using the same well, operating system. Or generally the same. Like um, XP will use XP, 2000 will use 2000, and 98. And we'll use 95. Se and but yeah, and seven. I don't think there's yeah, seven will use. And Vista. seven will use Vista generally for most things. If you download something for Vista, usually it works it's, for seven. Yeah, it's usually better if you have a similar operating system. If you have a very, very different, like if you're trying to yeah. run, if you're trying to run Windows, <laughs> if to, yeah, if you're trying to compatibly, con if you're trying to you know connect a Windows seven user and 98. 95 <laughs> and 98 or DOS, you're gonna be sitting here like, why is this not working? Yeah, the um, yeah. If you're, if you're running Windows 98 or 95 or DOS, you got to you know, also it also that uh, you have to remember <laughs> that said. your the amount of memory or how fa however fast your computer goes, it also uh, varies on how fast the other person's computer goes as well. So if the other person's computer is really slow mm -hmm. and your computer is really fast and you're viewing their computer, it's still going to be it's still going to be really slow cuz their computer's slow. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. <laughs> uh, good times. <laughs> well, <laughs> 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 good times. Oh man, we found some like, very good times. I, I, I felt time. like saying that it was good times. Yeah. Reminiscing in the past. Ah, uh, my good, my good foe. Okay, so um. Great. Indeed, we're gonna go to a commercial break. Yes, <laughs> and uh, we shall be back talking about um hardware, hardware versus software. Yes. Good afternoon, Mr. Thomas. I'm from your credit card company. We suspect several unauthorized transactions on your card. Really? My credit card company? Yes, and we care about your security, so we make house calls. Good news is you give me your social security number, and we'll take care of you. Uh, is that all you need? Uh, oh, not quite. We also need your PIN number. <laughs> I forgot. What, what's that on your back? Nothing. Oh, I get it. You're fishing for my personal information, right? <laughs> no. So you can steal my identity, right? No. Then how come you have a fin sticking out of your back? Honey, get my tackle box and rod. OnGuardOnline.gov has tips to help you guard against internet fraud, to secure your computer, and protect your personal information. To be more secure online, log on to OnGuardOnline.gov. Stop, think, click. <gasps> Sorry about that. I'm here to help. You are? Absolutely. Your bank account information needs to be updated to be sure that it's not compromised. Compromised? How? Uh, I need your password and I need it now. Um, my password? My bank has my password. Something here doesn't seem right. What? I can't quite put my finger on it. Trust issues, huh? You know, once we figure this whole thing out, maybe we could grab a cup of coffee. If you give me your credit card number, I could even order something for us right now. 
Hey, whoa. Oh! Are you fishing for information? Uh, uh, this isn't what it looks like. Uh, uh, uh. Easy on the fin. Ow, ow. OnGuardOnline.gov has tips to help you guard against internet fraud, to secure your computer, and protect your personal information. To be more secure online, log on to OnGuardOnline.gov. No, no, Stop, no, think, think, click. Hey, welcome back to Let's Talk Tech. Yay, we're back. Um, uh, yeah, we're talking about hardware and software. What is the difference? We have hardware versus software. But well, clearly, I mean, hardware is hard and software is soft. So hardware is in the computer, physically there. Software is software. Programmed. Software is not what's down. Whatever's down there, that's hardware. That's a hard drive. That's a SATA hard drive. That is hardware. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> I don't it's know somewhere where it's over there. Here in this general area. Uh, by the way, we are asking you to call us live two six five six three one zero. Please. I mean, just let us know you're watching. Like, just be like, hey. Actually, because we have lost a lot of viewers since the fact that we took a three month vacation. Yeah, yeah. And then we came back, and our show was on a different day. Yeah. So if. If you want to call, you know, be my guest. Please. I beg you. Please. Okay. Now. They're making that number bigger for those of you that have trouble with your site. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> so that number, yeah. <laughs> call that number. Yeah, that big number that's on the screen. Even if you have nothing to say, call it. Yeah. Don't just hang up, though. That's a downer. Yeah, anyway. Cool. Anyway, so hardware, hardware is a physical you, oh. thing you could touch. You said hardware versus software. Well, mm -hmm. this, this is wrong because to interact in a computer, you need both. No, I didn't hardware say versus. They software. put versus. Oh, you do not need versus because. I know, it's between. I it know. is between. If you had a verse, you need software and hardware. I realize, I realize. Blame the tech people. We're the tech people, but they're the tech people of this. Yeah, blame them. Uh, um, these people. <laughs> so. So basically, hardware is a physical. Oh uh, yeah, laugh it up. Laugh, yeah. laugh okay. it up. Okay, physical is a physical thing. So your hard drive, your motherboard, your memory that goes into the computer, your CD Tyler, drive. Tyler, don't even, don't stop. <laughs> well, your CD, your CD uh, drive is not exactly. I catch. You no, your CD drive is hardware. Everything that is hard on the computer, that's what she said, is <laughs> <laughs> is indeed. <laughs> Anyway, so anything that everything, is everything like the motherboard that, that is you can physically touch it, <laughs> <laughs> physically touch, like literally, t like if you can move the piece around. <laughs> I know. Okay, stop. Tom's a what you said <laughs> moment, bro. Um, so okay, if it's software is a form of data stream of zeros and ones of binary code. Indeed, that is broken. That is been recoded as that has been coded in either C plus plus or. Well, that's what programming Pro Perl or something like that. Yeah, and, and it, it, what it does eventually is it, it goes down as it creates what you have on your computer, which is your operating system, which when you boots up, uh, pretty much everything about your computer, which your programs, your Internet Explorer that you love so much, Facebook I, again is <laughs> your Internet Explorer that you love so much. Yeah, indeed, everyone uses the internet, the interwebs. I had to say that. I know because I love saying the interwebs. Well, you're weirdo. <laughs> Moving on again, it is hardware versus software, kind of. Between hardware. hardware. Yeah, m pretty much what we're trying to say is what, if, if someone says hardware, you have to know the difference between hardware and software. Cool. We have a caller. This is, this is, wait, share this moment. Hello, welcome to Let's Talk Tech. Let's Talk Tech. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Who is this? <laughs> yeah, please tell us your name, caller. This is Eric, just so you know. This is Eric. Oh, I picked up by accident. Ah, okay. Well, cool. Eric picked up. What? Cool. Okay, cool. Call her. Please call back, I guess. Indeed. Call yeah. back, please. Because Eric picked up by accident. Yeah, and uh, he hung up. Please, can you call back whoever called? That would be uh, great. Even if it was a prank call. Um, because I don't know what Eric was thinking by picking up that devil. I, that's, that that's because, devil that's because he usually he screens the calls. Indeed, but uh, this is it, this is an epic moment for Let's Talk Tech. This is terrible. We yeah. we hung up on a caller. I. What are you talking about? You hang up on our callers <laughs> all the time. Like once a show, okay? <laughs> but before we got more callers, this is like the first caller in like a year. Oh, okay, God. cool. Okay. 
so um, fun. The first caller of the year that we hung up on. Cool. Yeah, if you um, want to call back. It's yeah, so hardware, software. Hardware, or if software. someone new wants to call back, it's yeah. 265 631 Whatever. Hardware, software. Hardware for I don't software. exactly know what to say about this. See, okay, okay. It's so basic. We, yeah, yet. it's so basic. I can't even explain yeah, it. It's hardware it's is hard. Software <laughs> is literally inside a computer that you program with coding. Yeah. So basically, all your programs that are on your desktop are icons, and when you click on the icon, that was cool. Anyway, when you click on the icon, the icon goes into a program. Your program is the software. Uh, indeed. So Microsoft Office, Microsoft, uh, yeah, Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote. That is Office. Yeah, I know. I'm <laughs> just describing stuff in Office. Everything. If you everything don't use one of those, you click on is programmed. Well, that anything would be, you click on is an icon, and that well, and that goes into and a that program. is all programmed. <laughs> Which and everything on everything software. that you have on your computer is pro is not I wouldn't say programs but it's definitely more software and then everything that is external like your CPU the dr the things itself that you can buy like if you buy a CD drive that would be considered the box way. is not software thank you for calling hello welcome to let's talk tech okay cool awesome well that's a downer no but that's our second call on let's talk tech that's a prank call well the first one might or might not have been a prank Okay, whatever. Cool. So, whatever. So, You're just giving cool. up. Yeah. You're just giving up on me, Al. Yeah. Okay. So, caller, if you want to call back again, not that loser who hung up, but someone else who actually has a question for Let's Talk Tech. Literally. Like, my computer's broken. How can I fix it? Well, I'll help you because I am that kind. I am a kind soul. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we've had many questions. Just to, we wanted to just describe ve ve questions. Very kind of out of stuff. To talk about varying things. questions. We have like we've had government. We've had questions of how to get to certain channels. Yeah, we've had questions. That was an interesting question. <laughs> oh, that was a fun question. Yeah. How do I get to this channel? Um, how do I get to the government access channel? You go up a channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, you go up two channels. No, it's yeah, it's something like that. This is eighteen. They're twenty. I don't. I've, well, I've never been on the government channel because I have other things to do <laughs> than watch, you know, no, old people I talk about. I it when I'm waiting for the snow some delays. Other yeah, you know, yeah, just, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, uh, call so, us, feel yeah, free some to other, call us. Some other memori mem memorable moments on yeah. Let's Talk Tech for Calls would be uh, Al's little famous TV card that is actually a graphics yeah, card. That, would be that, a was a great, that was a great one. I, yeah. I wasn't here that yeah. day. Oh, that wasn't that a good one, Tyler? Oh, that was. Dude, you have no idea. Uh, he, he called us an embarrassment, and I said, "You have no idea." For those who could not hear Tyler. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of backs. There's a lot of uh, back talks that stuff yeah. that goes on in yeah. the background there. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. People. Um, well, yeah, we're but conversing. But yeah, that was, a, that was a very famous. That was a very famous one actually. Conversing that, uh, with. Our, I was. Um, I kept saying. I was just. I just kept saying video card. And, no, TV card. TV card, and I, I meant video card. I don't know why. I even tried to call in and tell you that you were wrong. freaking wrong. Yeah. You tried to call in like 20 times. Literally, I sat here for like an hour like, <laughs> Al, you're wrong. What do you mean busy? What do you mean <laughs> error? It, it kept saying like, this number is out of service. And I'm like, what the hell? Would you just, bl would your phone blue screen you? <laughs> I, I pretty pretty much, like I would call it and you would pick up, but it would just, uh, like, okay. Cool. Oh, call her. Hello. Welcome to Let's Talk Tech. Cool. Let's talk tech. Hello. Well, actually, they did exactly what you wanted them to do. What did they do? You said call in even if you have nothing to say, but don't hang up. So they had nothing to <laughs> say, but yet they called. And they did not hang up. That is. And exactly, did we they? hung up. Nope. No. They, they didn't do that. Sorry, they... <laughs> Which, with, with... I'm glad he knows how to use a keyboard. Bad with phones? Are you joking me? We are clearly not bad with phones. Your phone is just bad with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Well, that is our amazing staff in the back. Eric, who's oh, cool, yeah, and yeah. Tyler, who's... Yeah. Okay. Hello. So are you bad with phones? Apparently. Uh, according to our staff in the back that you can't see. Are you still there? No. 
I love the silence. Wow, <laughs> Dude, this is our streak. Three in a row where just somebody said something and then hanging up. That is, this is amazing. What? How can it get so good? Three in a row calls. Three in a row calls that somebody hung up. Mm, yeah. yeah. Well, no, we hung up on the second person. Well, technically, but they didn't have anything to say. And like your mother told you, if you don't have anything good to say, don't say it. <laughs> At all. Yes. At so he, all. I think he followed that rule pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Me? No, no, no we don't, don't follow that rule at all. Well, I was never told that. Guy, yeah, that. I just does. heard it from you know, some guy who told some guy who told some guy. <sighs> What'd you hear from Tyler? Yeah. <laughs> long, long time ago. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, us. Time. We're you know, uh, feel free to call. And you know we, what? We ran out of stuff to talk about like twenty minutes <laughs> ago. <laughs> So I don't even know how much time much, we have left, but we're just randomly rattling on. Yeah, we're pretty much just saying stuff. You know what? You know what we could talk about? <laughs> what do you want? Virtual about? machines. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. Oh, no. No one ever uses virtual machines. I know. Yeah. No? Yeah. Okay, cool. Buzz. Hello. You're on my TV screen. I know. Good Whoa, job. we're good, nice. Do you want a cookie for finding that out? <laughs> oh, my God. Don't hang up on him. That was rude. Oh, he hung up on us. Oh, it's good, it's good. <laughs> I knew uh, he hung up on us. Anyway, so, like, we're that's doing... That's four, that's four, right here. No. <laughs> uh, I got you there. Okay, so, um... Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't... Yeah, we're just rambling on right now. Okay, well, let, let us talk about virtual machine for a second. Virtual machine is basically, like... A machine that is... Virtual, second, but like, yeah. A it, secondary it plays an OS computer from your on computer. your... Yeah. It's a piece of software that acts as a computer. Oh. I hit the button. Don't ever touch my button. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to Let's Talk Deck. Did you just sneeze? <laughs> it's questionable. Don't hang up. <laughs> Let them hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Let them hang up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to waste time. Wait. Oh, Whoa! Down. Ah, oh, I thought I thought you had something to say, but uh. oh, that was uh. funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so virtual machines are basically machines that are virtual. <laughs> <laughs> Secondary machines. Wow, that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be too you, general you, there. You download um, VMware Player. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, we only have two minutes on our show. Thank awesome. God. <laughs> Um, so okay. we, we will be on next time, Friday at 8, and hopefully we have more to talk about and better things to talk about than okay. these stupid things. Tom, we have two minutes. Yes, yes. We have still two minutes to talk. No, usually we wrap up. We're not going to end our intro with two minutes. <laughs> no, we will, because I'm amazing. Next time, <laughs> we will be on Friday at 8. Please go on our website, Let's Talk to yeah, that's you. That's easy. Easy. We don't have time or, for another caller. I'm sorry if someone wanted to call again. Even calling the bells. Okay, oh, cool. wait, I'm going to take you. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Who are you? I'm Indian. I'm Indian. You're Indian? I'm Indian too. What a funny name. Boy, it's good. Okay, well, this is cool. I'll talk to you. Yeah. Bye. Cool. See you later.